Hey guys, dude here, and today, as you can see, I am playing some more blocks, fruits, in Roblox, of course, and, yo, okay, so last episode, I did get to the third C, the screens literally change, the background literally changes for the starting screen, that is so good, okay, let me go in as a pirate, so yeah, I did leave off here in the port town, this is crazy, the screens literally change for the loading screen, or like the starting screen, not the loading screen. I don't know if it did that for the second C or, or the first C. I don't think so. Yeah, bro, this is crazy good. So yeah, last episode I did get here to the third C. It is so good. I've kind of explored this island. Um. Okay, so yeah, I do have the ice fruit equipped. And oh, so in between episodes, some time ago, a very nice fan. The same one that helped me with the quake fruit to get the quest with trevor to fight the don swan npc they gave me a buddha fruit they are very nice um i do have it in my inventory yes here it is so uh last episode i did say that i did some research and it turns out elemental fruits or logia fruits are not as good in the second c as other fruits and many, many people are saying that the Buddha fruit is good. I've, I don't think I've ever had the Buddha fruit. I'm not sure. I forgot. I don't think so. But I have it in my inventory. My ice fruit, I literally already unlocked all the things. Oh, okay. So I didn't awaken it the last time, but that doesn't matter. I literally have one awakening left for it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's already mastery level over 200. So literally six more levels than my flame fruit was when I traded it for this. I haven't really had this fruit for that long of a time, so it's kind of crazy. Um, but of course, a very nice person did give me this Buddha fruit. We traded up, whatever. We did some stuff, and he just gave it to me. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, it is literally time to consume this Buddha fruit. I mean, look at it, bro. It literally does that thing. It has like that circle that your character has when you do actually have it equipped. This is crazy. It actually has a mouth, unlike the ice fruit, or at least mine didn't have a mouth. I don't know, maybe it was a glitch, or maybe they just don't have mouths in general. Um, but yeah, I'm literally already switching out my fruit, and this is apparently one of the best fruits in the game, especially if it's awakened, but I heard the raids for the awakening are hard, so I don't know. I'll need some help for that. Here it is, though, the Buddha fruit. Let me eat it. My ice fruit, you have served me well. I literally did not even have the ice fruit for that long, but I did grind a lot with it. I do have to say, I did get it, like, the mastery up pretty quickly. But you know what? Here it is. The Buddha fruit. Eat. I got to the third seat, and I got a Buddha fruit, which is one of the best fruits, apparently. Here it is. Mastery one, of course. The Buddha fruit. Okay, so, um transform okay so i do know that you turn big with the buddha fruit impact oh i can't use it okay so i have to transform this is crazy the buddha fruit is crazy of course mastery is one so it's trash i'm sure impact what is this yo that's pretty good um oh and i can actually use normal things i can actually use my normal fighting style wait does the mastery go up for the fruit or for the fighting style Yo, and I can, I don't know if I'm boosting faster or not. Yo, this is crazy. I'm huge. My body is golden too. Yo, this is crazy good. Let's go. I don't know if I boost. Do I overall boost farther since I am bigger with the Buddha fruit? I shine like crazy. This is kind of annoying that I shine. Um, wait a minute. Why did the mastery for the Buddha fruit not go up? Oh, it's because, well, yeah, I was using my water kung fu. Oh, so the mastery only goes up for the water kung fu, for whatever you're actually using. Um, let me untransform, bro. All that golden, like, aura by me, or all that golden stuff, it's kind of annoying, bro. That's whatever, though. This is apparently one of the best fruits in the game. Let me do a quest with the pirate millionaires. They should be easier. 53 million XP, that's very nice, of course. Also, $13,000. That's not that bad. Transform. So I'm going to have to use the impact ability. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, to get the mastery up, of course. Uh, let me see. Also, do I do the same amount of damage? I need to pay attention to that. Yo, look at me jump. Bro, that's crazy. It's like a whole sun in my hand. That is insane. 
Where is that enemy? Let me get them. Um, here they are. They're basically one shot. Impact. Okay, let me use it again. Uh, here he is. I literally did not eliminate him yet. This is crazy, bruh. Uh, I wonder, do they do, like, overall less damage to me since I have the Buddha fruit? Because li I'm literally huge, so maybe it should make me stronger. How is- what was that? How is he getting me through the ground? Where are you, bro? Nah, that's cheating, man. I can't get you. So why can you get me? You're an NPC. Okay, there it is. Buddha Mastery went up all the way. That's very high, very nice. That's literally only one out of eight. Uh, 45. I still didn't unlock any new abilities. So, I don't know. Do I do more damage with the Buddha Fruit on? Wait, where are the NPCs? Bro, that's literally only one out of eight pirate millionaires. This golden aura by me, or this circle, whatever it is, it's so annoying because it's so bright. Okay, so clearly, I can't really tell. I think I do the same, same amount of damage. I'm not sure. They're doing a lot of damage to me, though, man. That's crazy, even with the Buddha fruit on. I don't know if they do less damage. I need to do some research on this fruit because I have no idea. If it overall does more damage, if they do less damage to me because I'm so huge. What is he doing? Alright, let me do impact right here. Let's go. Level 55 mastery. My health is insanely low. I literally need five more pirate millionaires to complete this quest. Um, And yeah, so I need to heal up. I'm going to wait until I have like, I'd say honestly, maybe 5,000, 6,000 health just to be safe. Since they are doing an insane amount of damage. Um, I am huge though, I have to say. This Buddha fruit is crazy. I still didn't unlock any new abilities. Of course, level 100 mastery for... There's Buddha Leap and Buddha Explosion. So clearly, for this fruit to actually be good, I think I'm going to have to awaken it. So I'm going to have to do the Buddha Raids, which of course I heard are hard. Which makes sense, because this fruit is apparently one of the best, as I said before. I don't know though, honestly. It's... It's just, it's the same. It's like me not having the fruit on. I don't know if I'm doing more damage. Like, the only difference is I'm huge and I glow. <laughs> That's literally the only difference. Like, I don't know if the enemies do less damage. I have no idea if I do more damage. Um. All right, Water Kung Fu Mastery up. Let's go. I don't know if they do, do less damage. I really need to test it out. I can't really tell. Maybe they do, honestly. Maybe I'd be eliminated by now if I didn't have this fruit on because they do more damage without me being transformed. Let me actually check it out. Pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. Uh, what castle? Is this the castle? Is there a castle here? Nope, I don't see one. Maybe it's in the back. Maybe not. I have no idea. Yeah, the third sea looks crazy, though. Um, oh, wait. Also, if I am correct... You can walk, right? No, you can't. I thought you could walk in water with the Buddha fruit. Uh, maybe you can't. I don't know. I've seen some people do it. Maybe it's because they have some different uh, races, I'm pretty sure, like a shark race. I don't know. I did not do any research into that. I'm still a human, I'm pretty sure, in this game, which is crazy. Um, honestly, I'd rather stay a human because, like, you know, you got to be loyal. You know, you start out as a human, so you might as well stay one. I mean, you clearly, you clearly do more damage as another race, like as a shark or whatever, but honestly, bro, it doesn't really matter. Water Kung Fu, 545 mastery. Um, let me test that out, actually. How much damage do they do? I hope it displays. 1,000, no, is, is that, I don't know how much damage they're doing. I can't even tell. Also, they're using the Bicento or Bicento, whatever that sword is called, however you pronounce it. I have no idea if they do more damage with or without the Buddha fruit. I have no idea. It looks like they do more, though. Because my health went down drastically. It was crazy. Um, I have to wait again. Wait, how far does the impact thing go? Um, okay, so I don't know if I'm if my if I move my mouse if it like shoots out like a ball or like a sun, like that's crazy. Or if it's just near me, let me put my mouse there. No, I just smash it into the ground. That's crazy though. Hmm, the Buddha fruit's extremely interesting. I don't know if it's good. I mean, I probably have to awaken it for it to actually become good. But honestly, I don't know, man. Let me just get him a bit with my water kung fu. So yeah, I literally think they do more damage. Okay, so... Or not more, my bad. Less damage Um, is what I meant to say. Like, they're literally gonna eliminate me. That is insane, bro. These enemies are crazy. I hope they don't regain their health. Um, because that would suck. 
It is the third C though, so it's quite interesting. Are you kidding me? You still... Bro, they still did not get eliminated. I literally only have two more left to go. Come on, for the quest. Two more pirate millionaires for the quest. It can't be that hard. I mean, it is hard because I'm, I'm trying to get him with the impact, not with my normal water kung fu. Alright, one more. You know what? I'm done with the impact, with the Buddha fruit. I'm just going to get you with my water kung fu. I'm done, bro. This is insanely hard, man. I mean, clearly now it's easy because I'm getting him with my water kung fu, so it can't be that hard. Okay, there it is. I actually got him to one shot. 68 for the mastery for the Buddha fruit so far. That's crazy. Crazy nice. Um, I guess I could just get my block screwed up. Okay, yeah, so this actually does more damage, which would be nice. So far, I don't know. I think they do less damage, though, like, actually, with the Buddha Fruit on. So, at least I know that for sure. Um, I don't know. Or, wait, they do less damage. Okay, I forgot. My bad. Um, but I don't know if I do more damage. I think, I mean, clearly I should. Um, I could also have my sword. Yo, the sword is so much bigger. And the gun, I'm sure. What the gun, the gun is so small, bro. The sword gets so big, which looks so cool, I have to say. Then there is the bizarre rifle, which is the same size, it's so small, bro. That's crazy. All right, let me untransform. Wait a minute, I can use my aura. I wasn't using my aura with the Buddha fruit. That's crazy, though, bro. Okay, so I got to the third C and I got the Buddha fruit. It's, it's crazy. I'm getting so many things in this game. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you to that fan that gave me this Buddha fruit. I really appreciate it. Um, so far, honestly, I have to say the Buddha fruit is not the best. Probably because I have to awaken it a few times, unlock new abilities, I don't know. Um, or maybe I just shouldn't use the impact and I should actually just use my water kung fu with it. Because the impact is crazy because it just does not do that much damage. But that's whatever. The transformation is cool. Um, and the third C, I do have to explore the islands, but I do also have to level up just so I unlock new quests for the third C. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to end this video right here. Bye, subscribe, and leave a like.